Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to learn how to add Firebase to our Flutter Android application. So what are the prerequisites here? Well the only prerequisites here are that you should have a simple Flutter application up and running in your system. I have this very simple Flutter application which just shows the title Flutter Social Media on the Android screen. Let us now head on over to the official docs where we can see how we can add Firebase to this simple application. The docs can be found at this URL and please do make sure that you are following the section with Android and not the section with iOS. I will link this link in the description below. So let us move down a bit and the step one says that we have to create a Firebase project. So for that we have to head on over to the Firebase console which can be found at console.firebase.google.com. Here we have to click on create a project. So what would be the name of my project? Let's let it be Flutter Social Media. Okay, so it says that it cannot contain any underscores. So let's just replace all the underscores with hyphens. Yes, it agrees to create our project. Let us click on continue. And what are the different features that we want? Yes, we, we, we want Google Analytics for this project and it is also recommended. Let's switch that on and click on continue. Uh, analytics location, let me choose a location which is a bit closer to me out here in India. And I accept the Google Analytics terms. Let us create the project. This process usually takes a while, about one or two minutes. So I'll see you at the other end of the project creation. All right, our project has been created. So let's click on continue. And we are redirected to our projects page. Now we have to add an application to Firebase. Now we have an Android application, so I am going to click on Android and the first thing that it asks us is the Android package name. So where can I find the Android package name? To find this, I have to head on over back to my project. Now my project has a folder called Android. I have to expand this and I have to go inside the app folder and I have to open the file build.gradle. Now inside this build.gradle file, there is a section called Android, which has a section called default config, which has something called as an application ID. Now this application ID is the project name or the package name that I have to specify right here. So let me paste it here. Um, let me give it a name Flutter SM. Uh, the SHA is optional, so we will just skip that. Let me register the app. So after registering my app, the instructions ask me to download the Google services.json file and paste it within the same app folder. So let's click on download. All right. So my folder is located inside here. So I am just going to navigate here and save my google services.json file where it is meant to be saved. All right, so that part is done. Let's click on next. All right, so here it asks us to make some changes to our project level build.gradle file. So let's go ahead and make those changes and make sure that you're using Kotlin. Uh, okay. So the first thing to do here is we have to add Google's Maven repository. So let's open our build.gradle file. This time we need to make changes in the project level build.gradle. Okay. So we already have Google's Maven repository right here. What is the next step? We have to add the class path in the dependencies. Let's go ahead and add that dependencies. All right. Let me add new line here. Let me paste 
but it just copied Let's save this and the, as the last part we have to add google's maven repository again within the all Pro projects repository section let's copy this. and if we head on to our project we see that the google maven repository is already added within the all projects as well as the build script sections now next we have to make some changes to our app level build.gradle file as well the first one apply plugin com android application would usually already be there in your app level build.gradle file so let's just check that and yeah it is already already present here so let's copy the other plugin let's paste it here Next, we have to add these two dependencies. Let's copy the first one. And let's head back over to build.gradle file. And yeah, we have this dependency section here. So let's add a new line and a tab and paste this right here. After that, we have to add the analytics. Let's add a new line, paste it here. And that's that. Let's click on next and see what are the next steps. And that's actually it. Our application is added to Firebase. So uh, we are done with whatever we had to do on the console.firebase.google.com. Let's head back over to the Flutter Firebase documentation and see what are the next steps. So we have already covered step two, step three. Yes, let's head on over to step four. So what we are going to do here is we are going to add the Flutter Fire plugins to our Flutter application. For that, we, we have to open the propspec.yaml file and we have to add certain packages into that file. So let me just show you how it's done. Let me copy Firebase score from here. And let me head on back to my application or my code, uh, let me open a terminal here and let me simply say flutter, flutter pub add firebase core and it will add the firebase core library to my pub spec.camel. Let me maximize this and we can see that right here firebase core had been has been added to our pub spec.yaml file. Let us see what are the next dependencies. So we need Firebase Analytics, Firebase Auth, and Cloud Firestore. So let us Flutter Pub add all of them one by one. Flutter Pub add Firebase Analytics. Flutter Pub add Firebase Auth and Flutter Pub Add Cloud Firestore. After that, we have to run the command Flutter Packages Get to get any missing packages. And I think so, that would be it. So let us learn run flutter packages get. Alright, so Firebase should be added to our application by now. Let's try to run this application and see what happens. For that I can go to run and say run without debugging. Alright, I need to be at the main.dart file, run, run without debugging. And let's just wait for the application to start. Alright, so we are back and many things have happened. Uh, our code has not compiled, um, there was an exception. And it asked us to run the Gradle build with the minus minus stack trace or in for debug option to get more logs. So what we did instead was we ran the flutter run minus v command which uh, in which minus v stands over post and we were able to see uh, how the tasks are getting completed now here we see an error that um, cannot fit requested classes in a single text file uh, so we have uh, a greater number of methods which are 92 326 
uh, which is greater than 65536. So in a single dex file at max 65536 methods uh, can be stored. But now while compiling our code, we, we have uh, a number of methods which is greater than that. So what we need to do here is we need to set on multi dex in our build.gradle file. So let us quickly go ahead and do that. So for that, I will head on over to the app level build.gradle file. Now in this file, we see the section of default config. Here I need to set the minimum SDK version to at least 21. Then I need to say multidex enabled as true. Apart from that, I also need to add the multidex dependency right here. So let me just say implementation com.android.support multidex 2.0.1. What we'll do now is we will head back to the main.dart file and we will again run it without debugging. Let us see if it succeeds this time or not. We'll see you at the other end. Alright, so we are not seeing that issue happening this time and our app has also launched correctly. Now you might be wondering though, how do we actually verify that our app is actually connecting to Firebase? I'll show you a very easy method to do that. Just head on over back to the Firebase console and here you have to go to analytics. Within analytics, head on over to real time and at the bottom of the page, you would be able to see that in the last 30 minutes, there has been one user for our app, which is located somewhere in India, as you can see on the map here. And uh, yeah, so that user has to be us since we are the only person who has added uh, Firebase to our application and we are the only person who is accessing the app right now. So this user is one and this signifies that we have succeeded in actually connecting a Flutter application with Firebase. Alright, so that's it guys. We have successfully added Firebase to our Flutter Android application. All of the code that we saw today can be found in this GitHub repository AE Dorado slash flutter underscore SM. So please do check it out as well. In our future videos, we will start with building our flutter social media application. So if you like the content of this video and found it helpful, please do hit the like button. If you like the content of my channel, please click subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss any new updates. And like always, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you very soon in a brand new tutorial.